stepping outside the sod house. That's what you see. And just imagine living back in 1880. There was no cars, there weren't any crazy things going on. Here, let's go around this way. And if you've never read Laura Ingalls Wilder books, definitely do so. They're great. And it really explains American history through the eyes of, of a young child. She was an adult when she wrote them, but the books go through her child life. Look at how pretty those flowers are, honey. Oh, it's the outhouse. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the outhouse needed help. They, the sod's all fallen apart. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too close in there. It's not used anymore, but I see flies. Yeah, they used outhouses. <laughs> there was no inside plumbing, was there? just told me that in the book that he read inside the other dugout these were called yep there it is dugouts and a lot of times bachelors would build these it's a dugout oh I'm afraid of snakes oh, it just drops yeah it is oh yeah the other one's definitely for family <laughs> look yeah this one's still not the yep. original roof yep Look at that. And that's kind of the way they slept. This is this is the bed. And I know a lot of people uh, understand history and the way, you know, things have changed. And, um, but there are so many people who don't. And I hope that somebody watching the video will say, wow, I didn't realize that. But so many times we really don't get it. We didn't realize. People would sleep on this. They have um, what's called mattress ticks. It would be like a giant pillowcase type of a thing that they'd stuff with, with hay or straw. And that's what they'd throw down on this and then their blanket. Oh my gosh, that is really cool too. That's, I love old. And what's up there, honey? Well, there's nothing up here. Right, he's got planks up here. I don't want to go up in there. Yeah, no. Look, an old yoke for two, two cows. Oh. And then this here. And you know what? That's that's got to be the original one for this. Uh huh. This sod house. You can see where the ground, you know, digs in. Ground out for the door. Yeah. Old barrel. Yeah. Look at the. Now look at the stuff. Griswold cookware. Look at how old this stove is. And the chimney, you know, it goes right up. Look, honey. Ah. Wonderful cookware. Yep. Yeah. And, and this is a bowl. No. That's a that bowl. is wood. That is wood. That's the Dutch oven lids. Ah, I love Beautiful. it. And if you guys watch my cooking videos, you know I use Griswold. It's nice in there. This is beautiful. Look, a little bird cage. How is this pet? Yep. A lot of families came out here, and you know, without those early pioneers, who knows? seems to be his wash area. Oh, and look at the old mirror. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> These are beautiful. Yeah. It's all full of dirt. These have been here probably for many, many years. Whether they're the original to this um, sod house or not is another story, but 
This is the original tiny home, people. <laughs> yeah, tiny home wasn't mm -hmm. invented last year. No. Nope. This was big enough for a man to live in. Yeah. No hideout from him, for him. The prairie grass up there to try to keep the water out. Yeah. Hearing the, the grasses, yes. Oh, I love it. Here's his little tool shed. A lot smaller than our tool shed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these are the tools that he used to, to build his, his sod house and tool shed. And there's one in here. Oh, yeah, I see the blades. Two blades on the side, and it it would cut. That's really cool. Amazing. It is. I won't. It is so windy. Wow. And it was like this a lot back then too. There weren't a lot of homes, there weren't a lot of anything out here. Oh, and I wanted to show this here, a plow. I want to step in there. That's, that's a plow. not with this one but maybe with one similar. I know that sometimes they have um, gatherings and parades uh, or whatever and they do different things to show people how it worked originally. I know that in Salem or excuse me in Springfield, Illinois they do that with President Lincoln's place. But anyway there you go guys. The original sod houses. Not bad, huh? It's like a skinning house or something because of all the pellets or pelts. Look at the old moccasin. That feels like um, cow or uh, is it deer, you think? I'm not sure. I don't know either. Feels good. <laughs> Yeah. And there's some Indian beads and different things. Here's a dream catcher. There's some arrows. Wow. That's nice. Those are those are sharp. Candlestick. Mm -hmm. Holder. Yep, candle holder, yeah. Oh. And look. A mirror. Mm -hmm. And then it goes upstairs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Creepy. The fox. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're having too much fun in here. That's really neat, isn't it? Gloves made out of maybe beaver or um, bear? Uh, probably, I think that's a bison. Okay. Nothing like that. Neat. Uh -huh. Slippers, boots. Where's the pots? 
some pans. Oh, it says Taiwan. Oh, <laughs> the pan says Taiwan. Okay, that is not Griswold. Oh, yeah? Here, take the camera. You can see it too. Uh, you can see it through the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got toys up here. Yeah. I don't want to get up on there no, no. disturb it. But there's little toys up there and simple things that you couldn't buy at Walmart. I don't think there was a Walmart back then. A little dollhouse. Neat stuff. everything in there. I'm going to show you the outside. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'm, going to show I'm going to go up there and look at that uh, doll house that he was talking about. Here's a pipe that somebody whittled to a, or a flute. Isn't that pretty? And how did they keep themselves entertained way back then? They played flute, they played guitar, or banjo, or violin, piano. I know that Laura Ingalls, her father, uh, Charles Ingalls, played the fiddle. And he was very good at it. And they would sit around the fire, and he would play, and the girls would sing, and sometimes Paul would sing too. So pretty, it's so simple. I think I could have lived back then. It would have been a hard life because you do everything on your own. I mean, there's no, like Rod said, there isn't a Walmart, there isn't a Kroger or a Hy-Vee. There's nothing to shop. You, you butcher your own animals, you raise your own garden. If your garden failed, you didn't eat. And I remember reading stories about Laura where they had a potato for dinner. And that is in the book, The Long Winter. Definitely read that book too, that's amazing. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off. I think this will be the end of this video. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever get a chance to come out here, do so.